Hi, my name is Gisela Marti. I'm the creative director for Tammy Taylor Nails. We're getting into the holidays and we need to be prepared. Today, we're gonna do an elegant, simple, but commercial design. Our guest artist, of course, is gonna be Gel Prisa. It's a three-in-one gel polish, and it's a base coat, it's a color, and a top coat all in one. Let me show you the versatility of the gel Prisa with these fun designs. So, let's get started. For our white Christmas design, we will be working with our gel Prisa Simply Sheer, Little Bow Pink Clear, our gel paint white. We will be working with our Dazzle Rock Shimmering Stars, our Nui in the Neighborhood Sandies from the collection of Dazzle Rocks, our Dotting Tool, our Top Gel Plus to finish the design. We will be cleaning with our Clean It. Last but not least, our Wipe It. On my White Christmas design, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be working with two different elements for my background. The first element that I'm gonna be using is my Dazzle Rocks uh, from the Night in Town collection, Shimmering Star. Then I'm gonna be using also a new element, which is my Sandies from the Dazzle Rock collections. And this is actually sand. So we're gonna start first with our Dazzle Rock Shimmering Star. And I'm gonna take my clear, and I'm gonna put the clear where I'm going to be putting my Dazzle Rock. So my Dazzle Rock is gonna be almost, almost the whole nail, almost, but in an angle, I'm just going to bring down one side lower than the other with the clear. And I'm going to sprinkle my Dazzle Rocks and I'm going to cure for two minutes. So I come over here with my Dazzle Rock. I want to be sure that it's completely covered. So I'm going to put a lot. This is perfect. And then I'm going to tap. I want to be sure that I tap so I can have full coverage of my nail. Touch to be sure that those Dazzle Rocks sink into the gel Prisa. Now I'm going to touch just a little bit so I can take all the excess of the Dazzle Rock out and now I'm going to cure for two minutes. So it's done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to dust off the surface of the nail and you don't have to be very careful because it doesn't matter what, these dazzle rocks are not going anywhere. So be sure that you take totally all the excess out. Once you do that, since we're going to be working with a surface that we don't want to touch once we put it, we want to be sure that the top of our nails is completely smooth. So I'm going to take my clean finish buffer and I'm going to do a soft buffing of the nail. And this is just soft so I can have the surface completely smooth. Once I seal it, it's just going to be perfect. So I'm going to touch it. It's really good. A little bit on the top. And this is perfect. So now... I'm ready for my next step, which is going to be the layer over here. And this layer is going to be with my Sandies. My Sandies is a new item or a new component that we are going to be having very soon. And as you see over here, it's sand. And we're going to use this sand as the filler with my gel Prisa. That's the cool thing of gel Prisa. You can use any kind of filler with it. We have Dazzle Rock and now we have Sandy's from the Dazzle Rock collection. So come over here and I'm going to do exactly the same way. I'm just going to pour the sand on the area 
that I apply that clear. And I want to touch to be sure that it sinks in. And then I'm gonna cure for two minutes. You can dust the excess of the sand and we are ready. So now it's done, it's completely cured. And we're gonna do exactly the same thing as we did before. We're gonna dust the excess of the sand out. Now the difference is that when I apply my top coat, which is gonna be my clear gel prisa, well actually no, I'm gonna be using my clear pink gel prisa. I'm not gonna apply it on the sand area because I want to be sure that I get that texture of the sand. So now we're gonna apply the clear pink to seal my dazzle rocks. But like I told you before, I don't wanna apply on the area where I have the sand because I wanna keep that rough surface. So seal completely my dazzle rocks and cure for two minutes. So it's done. Now remember, this area over here, we have to clean. This area over here doesn't have any gel, so we don't have to worry about it. Be sure that you clean totally all the stickiness so when you do your design, everything will be just fine. So this is done. My whole nail is completely clean. This area over here is very rough and this is very smooth. So I'm gonna use now for my design my striping paint, and I'm gonna use the black. So I'm gonna start right here, and let me see if you can see. Put a position that you can see. And I'm gonna go all the way straight up, and I'm gonna create one long line. I said one long line, nothing different. Now I'm gonna come over here, and I'm gonna do another line all the way up, but not so much. And now I'm gonna start doing some branches on my lines because this is a tree that is dry. I have one branch from here, another one over here. Very thin, very thin. See, you can get one more out of here another one out of here, a short one from here. And just think on that tree that you love so much and now doesn't have any leaves at all and it's so completely bald. And that is exactly what we're trying to do right in here. So we have our trees, but this is white Christmas. And white Christmas has what? No, so we need to use now white and I'm gonna put in this area a trail as the snow filled and it's right in there. There's a lot of snow, it's white Christmas and we don't have to be perfect. We just have to put some white in specific places as there's snow right there and I'm gonna put some snow in top of my branches snowing a lot and there's snow it's white Christmas a little bit over here, just a tiny bit over here and make an extension. And I think that we are white enough. If you wanna put some more, it's your choice. There we go. We have our snow on the sand area right here. I probably wanna put a little bit more over here and we have some snow on the branches. This is our white Christmas design. Very simple, nothing extraordinary. We use one layer of the dazzle rock 
shimmering star and the sand, and then just a very detailed, or not that so detailed, um, dry three. Okay, so my white is completely dry, so do my black. And remember, I was working with uh, watercolors, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to seal, especially the top, where I have all those details. And when it comes to the little tree, just a little bit right where the black is. Now over here, wherever is the sand, the white that I put on the sand, that's exactly where I'm going to be just blotting so I can protect that and it doesn't come out of my design. That's it. Now we're gonna cure for two minutes and our design is done. Okay, so let's recap because right now we really are ready for the seasons. This is white Christmas. And this nail, this design, we did it with two different elements. We used the dash of rock, shimmering star, but we also used the dash of rock sandies. And uh, half of the nail was with the dash of rock shimmering star and the other with the sandies. All what we did was decorate put in a small, well, not really actually a small, but a dry tree. You can make it as big as you want. You can make it as small as you want and put some snow in top of the branches. This is how I envision White Christmas. So I hope you enjoyed this design. Have fun. So you don't have to be an artist to feel like one. And I am sure that you have designs that you would love to share with us. So why don't you take a picture? Write step-by-step -step directions. Send it to creativedirector at TammyTaylorNails.com. Again, creativedirector at TammyTaylorNails.com. And you can be the next talk of the town.